come with me on this exciting adventure where we're going to be creating a 3D isometric logo. This also means you could do cool designs like this one we did for TNS Movers using two of our favorite tools. Let's do this. Our design adventure will start with our canva.com. You're going to access a social media post and preferably an Instagram post. So you're going to create a blank post and you're going to land here. So what you're going to be doing here is to create the name of the company with nice colors and you can do this also on photo P, but I love Canva and Canva is easy for me. So I will do what's easy for me. So you would click on the canvas itself and you're going to select text. So you press T on your keyboard to select text. We're going to change the font to this shoe net square heavy and you're going to increase the size to 400 and then you're going to then select and put in the name of the company so it is t and s so you're going to create your first t size it and put it in the middle of the page we can increase that to let's make it 500 then we're going to change the background and give it a nice blue color and change the font color to white then we're going to name this as our iso logo so that we know where to find it if we need it so we're going to duplicate this page so that on page two we have our end and we can change the background to black and we can duplicate this and the last letter will be S and then um, just make sure it's a capital letter S change the background to read for the last one so you can do whatever you like and make all sorts of cool things you can use words for your design what you are wanting to do here is, is to create an image of what you're going to distort on photo P so once you've done all of the designs that you're happy with, I'm comfortable with Canva, you can do design on Photo P, but we love our Canva. By the way, if you want to practice using the pro version, you can use the link on the description below and you can practice for free for 30 days. However, this design we're doing today is free. Nonetheless, you're going to click on your download and you're going to not make it as a background. You're going to download it as is and then it's going to zip download the three pages that you've just done over there. So what you would then do is you would drag your zipped file to your desktop, unzip it with um, archive utility. If you're using a Mac, if you're using a Windows, then you can extract all. And then you're able to see the pictures, the PNG pictures that you've just downloaded. So that's step number one. Step number two is you're going to Google a cube PNG that's transparent and you're going to download the cube that looks like this and put it on the folder that you're working with. And then you're done with step number two. Then you're going to go to step number three, which is where you're going to then distort the pictures that you've created on Canva. You're going to make it a cubic isometric shape on photo p so how you do that you click on new project and then there's your new project you can rename your project to isometric logo and then you can choose the instagram size because that's the logo size and then you're going to change the background to transparent and then you would create the canvas and your canvas would look like this so what you would then now do is you're going to go and find your cube that you've downloaded by saying file, open and place, and then you go to where you've saved your cubic file and you add the file over there. And it's added like this. So you're going to click and you drag and you size it the way that you want your design to be the size. I'm happy with that size 
and what then for a pit does it creates a layer for the cubic so we're gonna add three more layers for the pictures that we've created on Canva so once I'm happy with my layer I click OK or confirm and then I'm going to then add the second layer so I go file open in place and then I go to where I've saved my pictures that's the logo I'm gonna start with the T and I'm gonna add the T C photo P then adds a layer as you see in gray the T layer if you are happy with um, the picture itself that has added you can then confirm what you would then do is you're going to your edit then you click transform then you are going to distort this picture so that it suits the cubic um, design so this is how you can distort the design on photo P you can try using the text on photo P it was quite difficult to do for me so I found it much easier if you just do it this way and you create a picture whether you create it on photo P or Canva and then you distort by clicking the corners like this if you move the mouse to an arrow it shows that you can click and hold and drag it to wherever you want to drag it to so you click and you hold and you drag it to the cube so I'm happy with that I click on my confirm and there's a little bit of space there so I will go and transform control so I can see the control and then I can move it so that I'm happy like that so next you do exactly the same you go file open in place and then you place your end and then it is an extra layer that's at the bottom of the background so if you want to put it on top you click and you hold and you drag it above the T and it's above the design that you are at and then you're gonna go edit you're going to transform and you're gonna distort and then you start distorting and you put it to the corners of wherever you would like to do your design that is how you do isometric design on photo P so I'm gonna fast forward and do all three of them I'm gonna do the S as well and then we can convert it to 3d such a cool tool that is at your disposal to make amazing designs once you're happy you're going to go file export as PNG and then you're going to export it as a PNG then the next thing that you're going to do is to go to your main page on photo P and convert it into a 3d logo so to do that you will go to your PSD templates and you're gonna go look for a PSD file that I've saved for us here you're gonna go 3d class logo and you're gonna click on this link awesome and then you're going to hide the transform control double click on your logo hide your text drag your design size it to whichever way you like and then file save as smart object and it saves as a smart object you click on 3d class window logo and your design is converted you can hide backlight so that you have a nice non backlight view of your design and that's it that's your video the next video that you could watch is the 3d elegant logo design using your canva and your photo piece.